Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting edition of Southern States Pro Wrestling from El Galaxy Center in Austell, Georgia. My name is Rob Weathers, and I am joined by a very special guest here at the commentary table, the pastor himself, Donald Jakes. Oh, hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Brother Rob, thank you for having me today here at the El Galaxy Event Center. We are here at the Church of Southern States for this opening matchup tonight. Well, it's a pleasure to have you out here, Brother Pastor. And while uh, we get the show underway, we have got two big fan favorites in the ring in this opening contest. Hot Shot Hunter Knot and Dynamite Soul yet to tie up. But uh, we've got a hell of a contest coming up. Is there anything that you're looking for? Are you looking to recruit any new members to your ministry, as it were? Well, you know, the, the thing about the ministry, I don't really have to recruit people. People are always willing to give to the ministry because they know what it can do in their life. They know the blessings that they can receive. They know the protection that they can get from Donald Jakes with that blessing. So I don't really have to recruit. People will come to me, Brother Rob. You know, I, I, I don't mean to pry. But just using some of the vocabulary that you use there, protection and so on and so forth, they know where to find you and all that. You, you sound a little bit more like a mob boss than you do a preacher. I don't know if you get that comparison very often. Well, you know, people, people are often scared of religion. They don't really know what to think about it. You see, the, what I can bring to the table is nothing like any other manager can bring to the table because I can bring them salvation, I can bring them protection, and I can bring them prosperity more than any other manager can give them. Even that businessman that calls himself 3MP. Well, be that as it may, I can tell you what Hunter Knott can bring, and he can bring the violence, and we are seeing that in spades right now as he hits Dynamite Soul with that big reverse atomic drop. Followed it with a huge pump kick. Hot shot, Hunter Knott is on fire in the early moments of this match. You know, when, when I decided I was going to come into pro wrestling and read the entire wrestling word on the centers. You got to cover. Hold that thought for a moment. Just a two count. What, back to what you were saying there, Pastor. Hunter Knott was one of the first guys I had my eye on. This is an amazingly talented kid. Everybody's been watching him ever since he's kind of broke out of being a tag team wrestler and gone to singles. He's really been making waves all over the state. And he is someone that Donald Jakes would love to have a part of his ministry. Can't disagree there. Hot Shot Hunter Knott is one of the best that the state of Georgia has to offer, but Dynamite Soul, no slouch. As stated in his introduction, has wrestled all over the world. Uh, one of the only wrestlers to have wrestled in all seven continents, and that experience is shining bright right now in these early moments against Hunter Knott. Now, Brother Rob, you really believe that? You really believe that he went to Antarctica with another wrestler, a referee, an official timekeeper, and they had a match on another, on another continent? I don't believe it. I think he is just another one of these sinners and liars. Well, I mean, as a man of the cloth, I mean, I think you would typically go for the cover here, just a two count, but I think as a man of the cloth yourself, I think typically you would take a man at his word, wouldn't you? Well, you, you know, you, you, when you work in the ministry for so long, you've learned that you can't always take people for their word because a lot of times they're just wolves disguised in sheep's clothing. Are you trying to tell me that there's hypocrites in the church? There's no possible way. No, no, no. There are no hypocrites in the church at all. It's you're not what find I heard. That, you're going to find that all the hypocrites are right here in professional wrestling, and that's why I have come to Southern States because Southern States is the best wrestling promotion in the state of Georgia, and I am going to cleanse it, and I am going to purify it, and we are going to exalt it above all the other promotions in Georgia. Well, as far as being one of the best in the state, you'll get no argument from me as Hunter Knott hits that huge spine buster and goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, close one there. Very close. And and, and you, you hit the nail on the head earlier whenever you brought up Hot Shot Hunter not breaking away from that tag team. Of course, his partner. I mean, he is still very much a member of TSF, but his Absolutely. partner, Rosario Grillo, dealing with more injuries right now. Hunter not having to be forced into the singles position. And as you can see right now against Dynamite Soul, very well at holding his own. Tries to lift up Soul, but Soul fights back. Ooh, oh. big elbow there directly to the jaw of Hotshot. Oh, I think that one knocked him loopy a little bit. 
Referee Daryl Hall checking on him. We need to go out there and lay hands on him, see if we can revive him. Well, I don't know if we're going to need to resort to that just yet as Hunter not slow but surely making his way back to his feet. Still a lot of fight left and hot shot. Huge rolling forearm there from hot shot Hunter Knott. No give up in that kid. The gloves are officially off as Dynamite Soul nails Hunter Knott with that vicious chop. Now, now you see Dynamite Soul, he is making a mistake here. He is giving in to his anger. Goodness, and Hunter Knott with a huge chop of his own. Because you see, a, a heated temper never benefits anybody. I'll take your word for it as Dynamite Soul now with a handful of hair of Hunter Knott as he nails him with that big forearm shot once again, but Hunter Knott rolls through with the elbow once again. There is no give up in Hunter Knott right now. This kid is digging down for something deep. He's looking to his higher power right now to try to resurrect himself to glorious victory in this match. Hunter Knott to his feet first. Dynamite Soul now back up at Hunter Knott. Ready and waiting, but he eats a huge knee from Dynamite Soul for his troubles. See if Dynamite Soul can take advantage here. Sets him up, but misses the knee. Misses the line as well. Huge spinning slam there from Hotshot. This might be it. And that's it. What a great victory for the young kid here in Southern States. Hot shot, Hunter Knott coming a long way from being one of the standouts of the season two combine earlier this year as he walks away with another huge victory here tonight at Southern States Pro against none other than Dynamite Soul. See what's gonna happen here, Rob. Dynamite Soul in agreement with Hunter Shot. Hunter not, excuse me, that it is in fact his time. A defiant agreement, but an agreement nonetheless. Tell you what, Hunter not really impressive here at Southern States ever since showing up at the combine for season two. I believe he's undefeated here in Southern States Pro Wrestling. And I think he's just gonna continue that. This is, he's gonna be somebody that's gonna be glorified on posters for Southern States for many years to come. As the Kenway makes his way to the ring, you can see the beads that were anointed to Kenway from Joe Black following his defeat at the hands of Kenway. What is Chip Day doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chip Day. This is a surprise. I didn't even know he was here, Rob, did you? Oh, we, we, we've got Murder One and Joe. All of the hierarchy out now. A lot of history right, here. Uh, last time I checked, you got a full bridge of rights to be here. So you just want to show up and you want to get all of her. You want to carry the people who comply with it. You want to put back here. That's what you want to do. You want to act up. You want to look at You want to get up and say, go into that faction. That's what I'm saying, right? That, 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 I'm about to do it. No, no, no. So you got all of this fire, right? Okay. That is huge you news. You've got all that, you've got all that energy. Go to the car, get your bag, suit up. You got your black later tonight. So much history between Joe Black and Kenway. Joe Black and Chip Day, so much history with the hierarchy between them. A 
momentary inter interruption there, folks, as Kenway made his way to the ring. Chip Day coming out to confront Kenway. These two, a lot of beef carrying over from a match that they had previously here in the state of Georgia at another company. But Kenway has more to worry about tonight as he has got Sal Renaro, new look, new attitude, new everything on the side of Sal Renaro coming into this matchup tonight. Now you see, someone like Sal, now that's just somebody you can't trust. Oh, that's the one you can't trust. No, you cannot trust Sal at all. Have you seen him? You seen how crazy he acts around the ring? You, you, you never know what that man is thinking. Look at him. He just kidnapped somebody's child. What I, kind of sinner is this? He, I, I can't argue with you. It does look like he just kidnapped somebody's child. He is wearing a straight jacket, so I don't know if it's safe to let him wrestle, but we'll find out as he meets Kenway here tonight. You know, I, I never know what the higher-ups here at Southern State are thinking. I mean, everybody knows this promotion is ran by a bunch of carnies, so there's no telling who they're going to bring in. There's no telling what mental asylum that Sal was visiting earlier today. I mean, I mean, just look at him. This, this man, we need to lay hands on him. We need to pray for him. We need to pray all those evil spirits out of him. We, we, something needs to go on here with Sal. Your pal Sal doesn't need the hair to be a fan favorite, as you can see here in Austell, Georgia tonight. Nope. For, for some reason, they, they love this guy. People love sinners. I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> a good point. People do love sinners. You are absolutely correct about that. We might have to analyze that later, but until then, we do have a matchup coming up. This is a match that everybody here has been looking forward to as Sal Renaro is going to meet the Kenway. Hey, Sal a little bit confused here, thinking this is maybe some kind of a tag match. A little, little confused, yeah. That Sal Renaro, I mean, I guess you could say a tag team specialist, but just tagged into the match by his opponent, though. I, I, I've seen a lot of things in pro wrestling, but I've never seen that. I have said that same sentence as it regards to Sal Renaro my entire career, but be that as it may, the Kenway and Sal Renaro now with a collar and elbow tie-up. The Kenway riding that huge wave of momentum after, like we stated earlier, defeating Joe Black and officially becoming, it looks like, a new member of the hierarchy along with Joe Black in Murder One. You know, that's, that's, that's a hierarchy I, I really can't get on board with. There's only one hierarchy I get behind, and that's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Sal Renaro has been around the world of professional wrestling longer than a lot of folks in attendance tonight have been alive. And that experience always pays dividends for Sal Renaro. And we're going to see just how well he can do tonight against Kimway. Like we said, Kimway riding a huge wave of momentum. And let's see if that momentum is enough to topple the road traveled veteran that is your pal Sal. You know, Ken Way, he, he, he's been tested ever since he got here in Southern States. You know, the, the combine show, he, he took down Lucky Ali. And then, of course, defeating Joe Black, that's, that's, that's only a thing that some wrestlers can only dream about. So he's definitely earned his respect here. But the question is, can he take those next steps and be the face of Southern States? Can he be the one that Southern States is going to choose to exalt above all the others? And that's the big question. And can he prove it? But I tell you what, hanging out with people like Joe Black and Murder One, that's not the way to go about it. Well, I, I understand your disdain for a group such as the Hierarchy, but you have to at least be able to agree with me on this one. That group has had a stranglehold on the world of professional wrestling, especially here in the Southeast, for years now. Kenway aligning himself with them as he appears to be at his peak, as he appears to be at the top of his career, might have been the best decision he could have made, along with this head scissors now onto Sal Renaro, looking like a pretty damn good decision as well. Well, I tell you, the best decision Kenway could have made would have been to plant that seed of faith with Donald Jakes. 
but instead he decided to align himself with those those carnies, Murder One and, and Joe Black. Well, if he loses this match tonight, maybe that's something you could bring up in your pitch to him. Oh, oh believe me, believe me, we're going to have a talk after this match. This young man is too talented to be associated with, with that kind of riffraff and debauchery. That word right there, though, you just hit the nail on the head, talent. And talent is what the Kenway has in spades. You said earlier he has defeated in Southern States Pro just this year alone, Lucky Ali and Joe Black. Those are two of the biggest names in all of independent wrestling. And the Kenway was victorious cleanly over both of those men. You know, and what's most impressive about the Kenway is, you know, he took a significant amount of time off from pro wrestling, and he's come back, and, and he's, he's just as good as he was, if not better. Proving that ring rust just might be a myth as he meets Sauronaro once again with that collar and elbow tie-up into the side headlock, but Sauronaro tries to lift him up for a suplex, but Kenway still maintaining grip on that side headlock. You know, you can pray away anything, and I'm sure he has prayed away all that ring rust that he had. And, and it's through that power and that belief and that faith is why Kenway is just exceeding right now. I'm sure that's exactly what it was. But considering he's partnered up with the hierarchy, I don't think he's praying to the same guy you're praying to. Well, we're going to do something about that. Well, be that as it may, still maintaining control over that side headlock. Sauer and I were still unable to get out of it, but now pushes him into the ropes. But it's met with a huge shoulder tackle there from Kenway and follows it up with a second one. Third time's a charm as well. Kenway with a standing splash. Yeah, Sal, such a, such a trained veteran. Kenway catching him off guard there. See, he's been one step ahead of Sal for almost his whole match. Like we said, Sal Renaro, definitely the experience on his side. But Kenway, I would say, probably over Sal Renaro in every other department. Power, speed, agility, youth. Absolutely. And we're seeing that on display right now, but the veteran Sal Renaro is showing the Kenway right now. You think you got a chop? <laughs> I was gonna say he was gonna meet him chop for chop there, but instead rakes out the eyes of the Kenway and follows it up with a big headbutt. That new chromed dome of Sal Renaro, probably a little bit more stank on that headbutt now. Now you see, if Kenway, if 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 Kenway was aligned with me, I'd be telling him an eye for an eye right now. If Sal's gonna go after his eye, he just needs to go right back after Sal. Well, let's see what tactics Kenway does employ here, as he's got Sal in a corner once again, hits him with two big back-to-back -back chops. Might be thinking suplex, and he's got him. Rolls over for the cover. Only a two count there. It is going to take a lot more than that if you want to put away Sal Renaro, but goes for the cover again. I got to tell you, Kenway, he's, he's been on the offensive all match. He had a, a brutal match a couple of nights ago against Ship Day that went to a time limit draw. You got to wonder how much he's got in the tank for tonight. That is a very good point. We did see that confrontation before this match with Chip Day and the Kenway as Sal Renaro hits that huge drop kick right to the face of Kenway. Goes for the cover, one, just a one count though, but you are 100% correct, Kenway and Chip Day, this was no random occurrence. This Chip Day did not just wake up today and decide, you know what, I wanna start some crap with somebody at Southern States. There is beef that is had between the two of those men and you are 100% correct, Kenway just might not be running on a full tank tonight. And Sal Renaro, I'm sure he has that in mind as he's looking to take advantage, but gets met with that huge T-bone suplex from the Kenway. Kenway right there to capitalize on every mistake tonight. He is a smart wrestler. A thinking man's wrestler, if you will, as he goes for the cover. One, two. Kenway can't believe he couldn't put him away right there. He's got to have just a little bit more faith. Kenway back up to his feet first. Brings Sal up. Might be thinking pile driver here, but no, Sal out of it. Sends Kenway into the corner. Irish whips Kenway to the opposite side of the ring. A lot of force on that Irish whip from your pal Sal. I think Sal just put everything he had into that one. He knows it's desperation time. He's been struggling this whole match. Big knee to the back of the Kenway from Sal Renaro. Sal continue to going, continues to go to work on that lower back of Kenway. Kick to the midsection from Renaro. 
Got the underhook, but Kenway's trying to fight out of it as Sal Renaro, very unique offense there. Kneeing the back of the legs of the Kenway. Very smart there by Sal. You can see he's a little winded, but he's it's minimum effort with maximum output, maximum damage, and that's what he's doing right now. As he follows up now with this big chin lock on the Kenway. Kenway trying to do everything he can to, if he can't break the hole, maybe he can get to that bottom rope. Forces Sal to step over. Now, Look electric at the chair, but that lower back gives out. And Sal Renaro inflicts more damage with that backstabber, goes for the cover. Just a two count for Sal Renaro. Sal, such a smart wrestler. He, he knows the back's hurting. He's working the back right now. He knows that, that his only way to victory at this point is going to be to try to take out the back of Kenway. And that is no tall task. As we, as we have said earlier, that is one of the benefits of Kenway being the younger wrestler. That back might not, might not give out as easy as maybe Sal Renaro or some of the other veterans will, but Sal Renaro still insists on going to work with this beautifully applied submission hold here to Kenway. You know, I... I you know, I, I've talked to Kenway a few times. I just I, there's there's no quit in this kid. I think Sal's just wasting his wasting his effort here with a submission move. I don't think he would quit. Sal Renaro just might see something that we don't see, as we stated. Been in this industry for a very long time. Sal Renaro would not do something if he didn't think it was worth doing. As we see that now, is continues to work on that lower back of Kimway. Very unique offense here from Sal Renaro. Unique and effective, might I add. You, you can see the pain on, on Kimway's face. I, I think I need to go over to my, 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 my table and get some of my miracle healing holy water for him. Sal Renaro thinking suplex here, but Kimway's fighting out of it. But Sal gets him up anyway, and a huge back suplex there from Sal Renaro. Goes for the cover. Kenway out at two. These two men, they're giving it their everything tonight, Rob. Sal Renaro now plotting. The gears are spinning. Your pal Sal is on a war path, and now he is ready to put away the Kenway, and that could be what we're seeing right after this abdominal stretch gets applied as he continues to work on that lower back. Oh, big shot there to the back of Kenway. He's got control of that right hand. And this is exactly what Sal needed, more torque being applied to that lower back as he digs that elbow directly into the back of Kenway. Kenway trying to fight back. Tries to take him over, but Sal fights back with that punch to the midsection. Blocks the shot. Huge uppercut there from Kenway. Follows up with a cross. Hits him directly in the bridge of the nose with that jab. Pushes Kenway into the ropes. But Kenway, face breaker across the knee. Misses the splash, Sal Renaro out of the way just in time. Kenway catches him. Huge slam out of the corner from Kenway. What a smart move there by Kenway. He was waiting on him. Waste control. Sal Renaro, as you see, blocking that suplex attempt by grabbing the legs with his legs and right back to the back of Kenway. Can't get it. We've got a roll up now from Kenway, but no! Huge rolling Whoa. German suplex from the Kenway! Goes for the cover, this has to be it! What strength from Kenway. Only can get a two and a half though, Rob. What's he gonna have to do to take out Sal? And that has to be that damage to the lower back. Whenever you hit a German suplex, that is the muscles that you are using. You are using your lower back. And that lower back has been damaged and the Kimway potentially making it even worse following the O'Connor roll with that Chaos Theory German suplex. Crowd trying to get behind Sal. Trying to will him the victory here tonight. Sal might need something more than that. He just might need a miracle if Kenway is able to get back on the offensive here. But Sal Renaro thinking suplex in the meantime. Can't get him up. 
Kenway with a suplex attempt of his own. Both men trading suplex attempts now. Let's see who's going to come out on top here. Oh, my goodness. Drives Kenway directly to the center That's of the map. This has to be it. Oh, I thought that was it, Rob. I thought that had to be it. Sal can't believe it. If that is not going to put the Kenway away, I have to ask you, Donald Jakes, what will? I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know at this point, but I'll tell you, if there's, if there's one person who has a game plan that can put away the Kenway right now, it's Sal. Sal Renaro's got to start thinking of that plan sooner rather than later. He's back up to his feet first and continues to wear out that back of the Kenway. You got to wonder how much more that back can take. Sends Kenway into the corner. That lower back making contact with that middle turnbuckle. Now has Kenway perched on that top rope. Hits him with that big uppercut slap there to the jaw of Kenway. Sal going to try to put this away right now. Might be thinking superplex. Dangerously close to the lighting rig over the ring. Kenway shots to the midsection of Sal. No give up in Kenway. Headbutt from Renaro. And a headbutt from Kenway to follow it up. Kenway's out of it. Might be thinking powerbomb here, but Sal tries to fight out. And he's out of it successfully. Sal Renaro now perched on that top rope. This is the aerial offense, but lands the super kick directly to the jaw of the Kenway. But Kenway flies out with that huge running kick. That, that had to be all instinct right there, Rob. Kenway, he was dazed from that kick. And I think he was just running on instinct right there. Such a smart wrestler. At this point in the match, that is all that you have got is your instinct, is your ring awareness. And both of these men have that in spades as the fans here in Austell, Georgia at the L Galaxy Event Center trying to will both of these men now back to their feet. Kenway, huge elbow there from Sal, but Sal follows it up with a shot of his own. Sal back to his feet. Now Kenway's back up. Both men trading shots like each one just might be their last. Just brutal shots from both. Nothing pretty about this offense, folks, but it is effective, and that is exactly what both of these men need, and that is to be effective. At this point, they, they have both tried everything to put each other away, and, and, and now we're just seeing flat-out brawling. Flurry of elbow strikes there, followed up with a big lariat from Kenway. Kenway going to try to put it away right here. Wants the pile driver, but no, we've got to roll up now. This might be it. No, Sal Renaro not able to get the pinfall. But Kenway immediately back on the offensive, thinking pile driver once again, and he's got it. He plants Sal in the middle of the ring. This has to be it. One, two, three. I got Unbelievable match. I got to tell you, that, that that's one of the best matches I've seen here at Southern States. I, I've seen Sal win so many matches with that roll up and Kenway was ready for it and he came back and he did what he had to do to finish off Sal. Very impressive win for the Kenway. But like you said, one of the best matches that you've seen, if you were to do a top five list, three of those matches probably all are Kenway matches. Easily, easily. Like me, we yell down. Others 
Sal Renaro has spoken. Amazing contest and an amazing show of respect from one legend to possibly a future legend.